I attacked him viciously and I didn't stop. The only time I paused was to go to the kitchen and retrieve a butcher knife because I was going to kill him. Jason Browning is a devoted father who has earned the admiration of people across the United States for his heroic actions in 2014 after his 11-year-old son was molested by teenager Raymond Frolander. Prior to this tragic incident, Frolander and the Brownings had been friendly neighbors who shared dinners and laughter, with both families getting along well. At the age of 11, Frolander began playing in the garden with Jason Browning's four-year-old son and was seen by the family as a babysitter. Over the years, Frolander became a permanent member of the family, playing video games and cards with them, and was always there for Jason's son. However, when Raymond Frolander turned 18, their lives would change forever. 911, where's the emergency? My emergency is at I just walked in and found a grown man molesting and I got him in a bloody puddle for you right now, officer. On a warm and sunny afternoon on June 2014 in Daytona Beach, Florida, Raymond Frolander came over to play with Jason's son due to the long-standing loyalty and trust they had developed over the years. Jason, who had to run a short-notice errand to do some shopping, left the two boys at home alone as his wife was still at work. Upon returning from the supermarket, Jason heard strange noises coming from his son's room. Alarmed, he immediately ran through the house and up the stairs. As he opened the door, Jason was shocked to find Raymond with his pants down. His son was also inside of the room. Jason's fuses suddenly blew, and he couldn't believe what he saw when he discovered that his friendly neighbor, Raymond, had tried to abuse his 11-year-old son. Fueled by a mix of anger and fear, Jason reacted swiftly and physically attacked Raymond, hitting and kicking him with force. At one point, Jason even considered ending Raymond's life and went to the kitchen to grab a knife. However, his son bravely intervened and stood in his father's way, urging him not to do anything drastic. After a moment of acceptance, Jason calmed down and called 911 for help, feeling extremely upset and shaken by the traumatic event. Jason reported that he entered his son's room and discovered a grown man who had just abused his son. He also mentioned that he had used physical force against him, resulting in a bloody confrontation. The officer was informed that Raymond Frolander was incapacitated and ready for pickup. The dispatcher then asked if any weapons had been used, to which the 35-year-old father responded, My foot and my fist. He is nice and knocked out on the floor for you. I dragged him into the living room. He added that Frolander was a damn lucky boy that I love my God. Okay, okay, sir. Okay, you said somebody was molesting. He was molesting and I walked in, his dick was out, he had pants down. I didn't proceed to ask any more questions, sir. Arrest okay, me if sir, you must, okay, because you fucked up. Okay, sir. It's okay, sir. I understand that. Is, is he still doing it now, or is he stopped? Oh, absolutely not. He is nice and knocked out on the floor for you. I'm dragging him into the living room. Uh, uh, okay, all right. We got help on the way, okay? And you said the person who assaulted, he's, he's not, he's beat him up. He's, oh, I'll, he's yeah. Defending he stuff. Send him an ambulance. He's going to need one. Okay. We got help on the way, okay? I appreciate it, sir. All right, do not, do not hang up with me. Stay on the phone with me until police get there. Are there any, were there any weapons involved? My fist and my foot. Okay, no guns, no knives, anything like that from anybody? Absolutely not, sir. Raymond was then taken into custody and given medical attention. A week later, he appeared in court with visible injuries, including swollen eyes, lips, and a blue face as a result of the physical altercation with Jason. During the court proceedings, Rolander admitted to his actions and pleaded guilty to engaging in inappropriate behavior with a victim under the age of 12, which is a serious offense punishable by up to life in prison. When questioned by the judge, he primarily responded with a brief yes. In addition to Frolander's guilty plea, Jason's son revealed to officials that he had been abused by Frolander for three years, but had not spoken up out of fear. Frolander was sentenced to 25 years in prison and will be listed as a predator upon his release, subject to probation and electronic monitoring for the rest of his life. Jason Browning was not charged for his actions towards Raymond. The police officer responded that there was no reason to charge him, as he was behaving like a protective father should. The officer noted that anyone entrusted with the care of a child has a basic instinct to protect them from harm, especially when it comes to an 18-year-old individual who has violated that trust.
It's important that we talk about these issues openly and honestly. Whether you're a survivor, a friend, or a family member, please know that you are not alone and that there is help and support available.